and there's something about the sounds of crackling fire out in the woods. So nice. Hey, welcome back to the channel. So here in a few months, I'm going to go out for a week or so in the bush. So I wanted to get out here and test my bag, test some of the gear. So this uh, two day trip, we're going to be testing out the gear, testing out the snares, the fishing gear, the fire starter, testing out everything, making sure that I've got what I need when I go out. So I'm going to bring you along with this. Right now we got this nice little primitive site. See a good clearing for the uh, hammocks up here. A lot of good trails that we're going to put the snares. Already somebody's already taken the time to put a rock there, rock uh, pit, so we're going to have a fire. So let's get to it. Alright, so we got camp set up, got mine right here, got a little rain tarp, got my sons over there, and so it's a good little spot, you know, lots of, lots of shade, lots of trees, the slope is running down away from us, so rain's going to be fine, um, out of the elements, so we're good, now we can gather some firewood, set some snares, get, uh, get our fishing pone ready, and just, just test out our stuff. So I'm gonna try out my little portable cooker that you can use with sticks. Um, pretty cool, you know, not too expensive. I think it's like 15 bucks. And instead of taking fuel, it takes sticks. So I'm gonna set this up and see if we can warm up some hot dogs, see how it works. Of course, I always have some fire starter here. So what I'm gonna do, put some of these in there. carry me a little fire kit so of course I got some jute some string some extra fire log put this in there and we're gonna get a nice little fire going okay now I'm just gonna start a fire Okay, so we got it going. Now we'll just put on our grate and we'll start cooking these bad boys. So, I ate it. It was good. It cooked uh, cooked four hot dogs in like five minutes. Um, you know, I needed to wait longer because it um, it was, got really hot. You know, it burnt them. But we literally left them on there just a couple minutes, and it tasted really good. And it's been over an hour later, and as you can see, still going. Just a few sticks, so you don't have to worry about fuel in that. I would highly recommend that. 
I think that that is a very good, uh, very good buy, and I'll put that in the description. All right, well, I decided to get in my hammock. It's about uh, 1 o'clock. We got out here about 10.30, so two and a half hours. We got our camp set up. We tried out our grill. Caleb is out with the slingshot now, trying to see if he can't catch us dinner. All right, Caleb, you punk. <laughs> and I decided to take a little nap before we get our fishing gear out, go down and fish, uh, jump in the lake, and then um, try out uh, the snares, put up the snares in a couple places. And so far, you know, I'm liking the gear. Got a nice setup here. You can hear the wind blowing in the background, which is nice. I also got this little camping pillow, you know, that you can get. Comes in a little case, which is nice. It's flannel. So, um, yeah, so far, loving it. Um, I could see myself doing long term like this. These are comforts, you know. I'm, I'm used to doing lean-tos and doing stuff out of sticks. So, being able to have a tarp and a hammock, that's, that's fantastic. It definitely reduces uh, setup time and you can just get on to surviving. So, stay tuned. All right, so we've come up here. I found a good trail. There's some signs through here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set a snare between these two and then I'm gonna put some sticks on either side so they have to come straight through, funnel to the snare, and hopefully we'll have a better shot of catching them. fist high off the ground have it about like that when they go through this thing is already set and it, it's going to choke them the, the harder they fight the more it's going to they're going to pull pull out Been a pretty good day. Now I'm going to uh, start a fire. Got my black and white fire starter. Um, this is the wood tinder blend. This is really good. Also got some uh, fat wood putting in there. So we're going to see if how quick this will take a spark. CFO Paul from uh, from uh, Black and White can uh, give a shout out here. So let's see what we can do. take too long did it not bad mr. corona not bad at all Fire's going good. Got my water on there to boil. Caleb set it all up. Getting it ready. We're going to try some uh, bagged food. Just add boiling water, see how that tastes. Um, but boy, I tell you what, this, is, this has been fun. 
as you can see we're we're sitting down here pretty good um, camps up there pretty much in the middle it's been a lot of fun um, so far everything we've used has been great you know the little canister fuel kick uh, cooker that you use uh, sticks and that to start um, the black and white fire starter was awesome uh, the hammock everything's holding up really good so we set those snares out we'll go check them later and in the morning and uh, hopefully we can get something else but so far I think it's been a great great day definitely a lot of fun peace and quiet now, this is the big thing about stuff like this you got to get out and practice and know where you need to get better at um, like I had some old fire starter in my bag and but it was horrible um, it took a while we really had to nurture it and so when I put the black and white on there boy it just it just took right off which is good you still got to nurture it no matter what but the thing about black and white is you get that instant flame so you can nurture it and getting that instant flame is what's most important all right got some mountain house chili mac and beef we're gonna try this bad boy see how it is Just did some chopsticks here because Caleb stole my spoon you want it I'm almost done when I'm done you want it yeah I'm gonna have to have it that's good definitely good of course, chili mac and beef. We're gonna go to the porta potty many times. Today. Yeah, it's gonna be a, just drive there and stay gonna there. be a bathroom type break. But I'll tell you what, this is really good. I like it. Uh, 230 calories per um, single serving, so 460 for the container. That's pretty good. Definitely tasty. And all you have to do is boil water, add a cup and a half, and then. Uh, Stir it, wait five minutes, stir it again, and then let it stand an additional four minutes. Then eat it right out of the pouch, and boy, it's good. I like it. Yeah. So, you know, all these shows you watching where they're eating, and they go, oh, oh yeah, yeah. And you're like, there's no way it can be that good. Well, when you work all day, believe me, it's that good. It doesn't matter what you eat. So, now I'm going to use a spoon. See how that tastes. It tastes good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's good. Now I know Travis, NWA Prepper, loves the Mountain House. I don't know if you tried the Chili Mac. Um, but you need to try it if you haven't, Travis. It is so good. I'm in the uh, hammock for the night. We heard a big tree fall, probably 10 yards from our camp here, but we looked up and before we set it down and we should be fine with that. Um, so a lot of gunshots in the distance, a lot of uh, dogs, um, you know, the normal stuff. So we're gonna try to get some sleep and then get up and go at it again. So, we'll see you in the morning. Good morning. So, we had an interesting night last night. Had a bear in our camp. So, it was not a fun night. Not much sleep, but we're about to get up and get to work. Caleb nursed back the fire. There's a couple embers. We got it going again. It's good to have somebody like that with you. So I can just sit here because I'm old. And he can just get her done. So the deal was he 
gets the fire going and I'll make him eggs. So I guess I need to start mine. Cooking set up, trying. It came with that, so there's a bunch of bowls, little plates, pan. Set it right on the fire. Start cooking. I'm, I'm liking it. I think it's gonna be good. What do you think, Caleb? You hungry? Yeah. those because you can cool them off and take them with you easy snack no matter where well forgot my external storage so you know that sucks there's a lot I didn't get to uh, film because of it but that's why I do these dry runs not only to figure out what I need to survive but to figure out what I need so you guys can come along with me uh, but I want to get that corrected so when I go out for the week or two weeks We'll be able to film everything and really be able to dive down e deep into what I do in survival. Really appreciate you being here. Guys, if you enjoyed it, you want to see more like this, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and let me know in the comments. I like doing it, uh, but only if you guys enjoy seeing it will I video it. So, appreciate it, and as always, remember, prepare, survive, and thrive.